dirt, no shoes, no service dog. Metro Detroit couple says they were out to eat last night, but when the manager told them to put their service dog in the car. And a 7 Action News reporter, Camila Mary explains from Fraser, it's a request that's against the law. Find a step, find a step. Good boy, forward. He's my eyes, he, you know. It, he walks me everywhere. Husker is Nathan Schneck's constant companion, a golden retriever leader dog who was not welcome at the Grand Azteca Mexican restaurant last night in Fraser. Nathan and his wife Stacy says the restaurant manager told them shortly after they sat down that some of the other diners felt uncomfortable eating with the leader dog at the Schneck's table. I could see if the dog was acting out, if he was uh, not well groomed. Uh, those are reasons to ask a dog to leave. The Schnecks say the manager asked them to put Husker in the car, but they I were so upset the that they left. At that time when you're in that moment, you don't know what to do. You know, it's hard, especially when it's so close to home. The manager of Grand Azteca did not want to talk on camera, but he did tell me that he's sorry, and he says he didn't mean any ill intent. I'm not a mean person. I, I'm not somebody who can't take apologies. But uh, is he, does he really mean it? Does he really mean that apology? Or is he just doing it just because that's the political way to do it? That's the way to look better in the community. Stacy has filed a complaint with Grand Azteca, contacted the American Disability Act National Network, and posted about the incident on a local community Facebook page called Enough. And it's not about a lawsuit or anything like that. It's just about public awareness. And knowing, educating your staff, if you're, they're going to be employees at an establishment, and as community, we have to follow the laws. Businesses in our community need to follow the law. In Fraser, Camille Amiri, 7 Action News.